Hello guys, Hacker Cop here and today I'm going to show you how to build your own AM radio. So here we have the raw AM signal being picked up by a capacitor and coil which is called a tank circuit. If I zoom right into the waveform, you can see the individual signal which is, this this case it's absolute radio so it's 12-15 kilohertz. And you can see it's being amplitude modulated here. So we have our capacitor and our inductor here, which form a tank circuit, which resonate at a specific frequency. We control the frequency by changing the inductance of the inductor by moving that ferrite rod in and out. When we have a frequency that resonates the same as our radio station, we get resonance, so it's very strong and it tunes out all other frequencies. This is how we are able to tune to our radio station very strongly without noise or other problems. The output from this tank circuit, that's what it's called, and then goes to this transistor. When it's high, it pulls this cut voltage down here, and pulling current away from here, which causes this side here to decrease. And that then helps oscillation. So when this is positive, the transistor makes the side more negative, which increases the amplitude, and vice versa. When this is negative, they've got positive current here, making this more positive. So the transistors resonate with the oscillators, to increase the amplitude of the signal, make it more suitable for our operational amplifier here, which is designed to drive speakers up to, I think, 0.25 watts. We have our volume control here. But apart from that, the circuit is very simple. You should know that I'm not going to go through building the circuit on a breadboard, because I'm assuming you have the skills to do that. But we'll go through some of the practicalities, such as getting the antenna right and tuning the radio. To run this, you're going to want to assemble the circuit on a breadboard. So to make the coil, you're going to want to take some card and then stick your wire and wind it round. So I used this here for the wire. And then you want to have a ferrite bar, which you can get just by dismantling a old AM radio. You can now just move the ferrite rod. It will change the inductance of your coil and thus you can tune into stations. If you want this to work well, having a long antennae is very important. So I've connected my antennae to my coil here. And I've then got the antenna coil going right up to the ceiling and back down. And then I've got the remainder of it on the coil. I was using it to wind it here, which is quite important because if your antenna is too short, you're not going to be able to get the signal strength you need. The speaker getting a good sound. It's very important you make a cabinet for it. So if I have the speaker off this, it sounds very tinny. It's only high frequencies. So what I'm actually going to do is I've taken a mug here and put some socks in it, so I put the speaker over, it acts like an enclosure and prevents those low frequency sound waves from cancelling out. 